Evening YouTube, uh, my name is Paulie Alex Bowie, you might know me from Sonic State, Magical Synth Adventure, etc. I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes talking about the fallout <laughs> of Espen Craft's latest, shall we say, venture? <laughs> um, of apparently joyfully trolling the synth community. His video comes out, the, the scam video, and I'm not really here to talk about the video itself. Um, I think the choice of the word scam was unfortunate because it kind of made out synth manufacturers to be kind of nefarious crooks, <laughs> essentially. And, you know, I have relationships with some of these people and they're very hardworking and very, you know, passionate about what they do. So I think the synth community uh, felt a kind of outrage on behalf of those people. And in that outrage, a few things were said. And some of them made sense at first. But then, thinking about it, some of them didn't sit right with me. So I felt like making this video, and this video is about a couple of things that were said in the aftermath. So, it was said a number of times by people in an effort to discredit Espen. And to be honest, all you need to say to, to discredit Espen is that he, he's not a synth manufacturer, and he doesn't know about what goes into making a hardware synth. Bam, it's done. But people went further than that and started to say things like, you know, well, he's not particularly professional, he's had a couple of releases. Essentially saying that he's a, he's a bit of a nobody and don't listen to nobodies. And it made sense at first, because who better to tell you who better to tell you about um, instruments than people who use them in their day-to-day -day life, in their job? But, you know, meditating upon it, it didn't sit right with me. And uh, I was... I, I worked out why. So essentially, and my French isn't very good. I didn't pass French at school, but... The word amateur, I believe, comes from French doing it for the love of doing it. So it means passionate people who aren't getting any financial reward. The world perhaps hasn't noticed their talents, and yet they do it anyway. And I think I've always thought that was a beautiful thing, you know? Far from amateurs being a negative word, you know, you rank amateur. I've always thought of it as someone who, despite the difficulties of the world, despite rejection, continues in their passion. I've always thought it was a beautiful thing. So I didn't, it didn't sit right with me, the kind of um, rhetoric which was saying, ignore amateurs. Look, I'm not I'm not a musical success, you know? My last EP sold a few hundred copies in a niche, you know, uh, at a niche event. Essentially, under this schema, I should be someone that you don't listen to on anything to do with music, synthesizers, etc. But my experience has told me that people actually have a lot of time for my opinions and my unique approaches to songwriting and synthesis and things like that. And it's literally because I have read and read and read and learned and learned and learned and done and done and done to accrue a mammoth amount of skills. Now, I haven't had the dumb luck in the world to be able to make that my full-time job at the moment. 
through things like, you know, mental health, disability. But essentially, yes, I just wanted to say that I will always listen to amateur voices. Because they might be some kind of recluse who has had no success but knows more about one thing in the world than anybody else because they've lived it and breathed it and it's it's become their passion. As I said in, in my song... And some people, given that look, given that beautiful dumb look, have used that as a platform to work hard and build. Great, but some of us have started in a very uneasy, murky swamp and tried to build on that because we haven't been given that luck in life. And I truly believe that is the only thing that that separates successful people from unsuccessful people. So I'm going to always listen to a range of opinions. I don't care how successful you are. I only care how good you are at what you do. And whether the world has acknowledged that yet or not, doesn't matter to me. In this case, I don't think Espen is right. But I'm not decrying his opinion based on the fact that he isn't a megastar. I'm disagreeing with his opinion because I've looked up certain prices and facts that he quoted and the the not correct and his argument starts to fall apart so there's my thoughts I'm aware that they're very nuanced and maybe the internet isn't the place for nuanced discussion anyhow see you next time on magical synth adventure bye